hello. Thank you so much for allowing me to come talk to you. As Jay mentioned, uh, my name is Emily. I work in pre-college programs, but I am also an OSU student. So I am doing my master's program right now. Um, so I know a little bit about um, being a student and then Isabella is here as well. So she may be able to chime in with some questions or answers um, to your questions. Great, so it looks like we're gonna do really quickly some fun places on campus. Like I said, we only have about 15 minutes. If you have questions as we go, please put them um, either in the chat or you can raise your hand and I will answer them there. Just to check, Gavin, your hand is raised. Was that for answering questions or did you have a question? Um, I have a question actually. Go ahead. How long does it take to normally get a bachelor's degree? So it usually takes four to five years, depending on what you're studying and how slow or how quickly you go, right? So it's up to you to kind of determine how long it takes. You have a set of classes you have to take. And some students are able to do that in three years because they do nothing but school. They take a lot of classes um, and they take summer classes too. And they enter college with some credits from high school. So they graduate high school and in three years, they have a degree. There's other students like me. So I started at a community college and then I transferred up to OSU and I did get two bachelor's degrees, but it took me seven years total to get my degrees. Um, and that's because I took things a little bit slower. I joined some clubs on campus. I took summers off so I could go home. So I'm gonna say four or five years, but really it depends on the student and how hard you wanna work and what you're studying. Okay, perfect. So just like that, if you have questions, go ahead and raise your hand, but I will go ahead. And start this. So it definitely sounded like some of you have been here before. So you will have seen this, which is fantastic. But we're gonna do a quick walk around campus. Let me pull chat up. Oh. Perfect. Quick walk around campus. Um, as Jay mentioned, we're gonna start right here at Weatherford, which is one of the residential halls on campus and kind of our postcard building. So a lot of times if you see a picture of OSU, you see Weatherford um, because it's just one of our pretty buildings. Uh, one, some of the really neat things about Weatherford is there is a cafe within the residence hall. So this little white building over on the side right here is a cafe. So some students are able to eat lunch without even leaving the building. So maybe you're up in your room and you're studying because it's finals week um, mm -hmm. and you're hungry. So you head downstairs, you get a coffee and a calzone, and then you head back up to your room to do a bit more studying. Other really neat things about Weatherford is there is um, a workshop kind of near the basement for our entrepreneurship program. So those students who have these ideas and they want to start a company, there's a workshop down at the bottom where they're able to develop their invention and actually market it and sell it, which I think is really neat. Yes, absolutely. It does include the 3D printer as well. So if we look inside Weatherford really quick, this is the, the building that you were looking at. You can see these, all of these little rooms are dorm rooms, right? These are where the students sleep and you can see there's different sizes. So this is obviously a much bigger room. This is a much smaller room. And the size of the room depends on how many students that you have in it. Okay, most rooms have two or three students. Some rooms have four. I don't know if Weatherford has four, but some dorms have four. And then there are singles too. So if you wanna live by yourself, you can do that. If we take a quick look inside. I have a question real quick. Yes, what, what's your question? Right across from the lounge, why is that dorm bigger than the others? This one here? From the lounge on the left-hand side. And so that would be either a triple or a, a quad. So that would have either three or four students. Most of the rooms have one or two beds. Um, and then the few really big ones you see have three students in them. Uh, okay. So if we look around, this is a double. So there's two students in this Weatherford Hall. This is the front door. Every student that lives here gets a wardrobe or a closet, essentially. And they get a bed and they get a desk. 
And then how you set it up is entirely up to you and your roommate. So this student has their bed lofted and their desk underneath it. And then this one over here has everything kind of lower to the ground. So the bed and the desk. So the rooms themselves are relatively small. The rooms themselves are relatively small. Um, but if you think about it, you're not doing a whole lot in your room, right? You might be studying, you might be sleeping, but there are so many different places on campus. You're going to go to hang out with friends and eat and things like that. Emily, we had a question for you in the chat. What are you studying? Oh, excellent. Um, so currently I am studying my master's of business administration. So I'm really focusing on business and then I'm really focusing on HR. So human resources. I want to make sure that companies are able to use the people that are working there and the um, employees are happy and healthy. Um, and so everyone's kind of working together the best. My undergraduate degrees, so my bachelor's degrees are in zoology and education, which are an odd combination until I say um, I wanted to work in the youth department at a zoo or an aquarium or a museum and do children's programs. So that's what makes it a little bit better. Gavin, did you have another question? No, I was like, what's zoology? And then I realized <laughs> what it is. Yes, so biology is the study of living things. Botany is plants, zoology is animals. Um, I love animals, I love all animals. Um, my cat in particular. And I was raised on a farm, so I love goats. Goats are my favorite farm animal. So if we head back to Weatherford and we cross the street right here is the MU. If you have been to OSU on a tour of any sorts, you have been to the MU. It's one of our favorite buildings to show off. And it's the Memorial Union. It's kind of the student hub of campus. So this big green grassy quad you see out here is where a lot of the student clubs will gather and big events happen. So um, we have over 200 clubs at OSU and there are clubs for things like um, gaming. If you like to game, there's clubs that are academic. So I know there are clubs that study specific things. There's engineering clubs, there's marketing clubs, there's fun clubs, like I said, the gaming, the LAN um, parties they host. And then there's clubs that are social, right? There's no real reason they're there other than to make friends. So I know a couple of years, I don't know if it made it through the pandemic, but a couple of years ago, there was a peanut butter and jelly club. Uh, and those students, just really liked to get together and they each brought like a different kind of nut butter and a different kind of jelly and once a month they would make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and watch a movie and that was just to find friends who also like peanut butter and jelly um so you can make any type of club that you want i really like clubs i'm in the hr club um because that kind of focuses on what i'm doing what's your question gavin um are the games in the gaming club free I don't know. I would assume that the club probably has some funds so they're able to, to pay either registration fees or, or gaming fees or something like that. So I can't answer that one exactly, um, but I know that it would be either less expensive or free for students. Okay, we only have about five more minutes, so I want to pick some of my favorite places on campus. So the MU here, let's head to the basement. So the MU lanes and games or the basement is one of the really fun places on campus. We have a full size bowling alley. So there's 10 lanes of bowling. We have billiards or pool. There's a shuffleboard. There's dart boards. This room right here is the beaver's den. And there's a big TV and a Nintendo Switch and students can come play games with each other. And one of the really neat things about this is we have what are called PAC classes or physical activity courses. So think PE, but think very specific. So the PAC class that I took was bowling. I took it with my sister. And so twice a week, we got to go down to the basement and we just bowled for an hour. Um, mm -hmm. I'm much better than I was. I'm not that great, but I am better than I was. So that was really fun. Uh, let's see, let's check out Reeser. So the MU was right here. Here was Weatherford. We're gonna walk down 26 right here to Reeser. Reeser Stadium is our football stadium. 
Um, and it is also the place that graduation happens. So we host graduation in Research Stadium and a lot of other really, really big events. It seats about 45,000 people um, and they're actually renovating. So they are going to implode the stadium in January. I'm very excited to mm -hmm. see what that happens, um, but they're going to rebuild it. Um, but one of the neat things about OSU and a lot of universities is that student tickets or students get free tickets to sporting events. So if you like sports, that's fantastic. And students usually get the best seats in the house. So if we're looking at the field here, this strip of seats between the field and the walkway, these are all students. And students get free tickets to just about any sport you can think of. If you like basketball, soccer, um, gymnastics, football, um, really, really neat. So that's one of my favorite places. And we have just a couple of questions or just a couple more places. Arnold Dining Center is one of our dining centers. Students usually love to see what the food is like on campus. So if you've ever been to like a food court at a mall where there's lots of little restaurants and one main eating area, that's how the dining centers are set up. So you and your friends can go and you, one of you can get a burger and one of you can get pizza and one of you can get sushi. And then you all check out and eat together, um, which I think is really neat. Two more places and then we'll open it up for questions. So here was Reeser. We ate here at Arnold's. We're gonna walk up to Dixon. So Dixon is our gym. It's our recreation center. And a lot of students really like Dixon for obvious reasons. There's just such neat things in here. So there are two pools in Dixon and a hot tub. So the hot tub's right here. Nerd alert, the hot tub is in the form of a water molecule. So there's like a big one and then there's two ones off to the side. Uh, which I really like. I thought that was really neat when I learned that. Um, there's four different basketball court areas, which can turn into volleyball and racquetball um, and ping pong, if you really like ping pong. Uh, there's a weight room. So if you like lifting weights, there is a cardio room. So if you really like cardio things, there's rowing machines and ellipticals. One of the things I love about Dixon is the ellipticals are hooked up to the power grid. So as you're working out, you're actually helping to power the building a little bit. Um, one of the ways that we're trying to be a little bit sustainable. So really like Dixon for that reason. And then there is our outdoor sand volleyball pits and then some of our rock climbing walls. Um, so really, really neat there. And then the last one I'll mention really quickly in my last minute are, are, is our um, cultural centers. So we have seven different cultural centers on campus and they are there for two reasons. One, to give students who identify with that culture a place to hang out with other students that are identify with the culture and to share that culture with everyone else. Um, and one of the things that each of the cultural centers does is an event that shares that culture with the community. So in particular, this is the Native American Longhouse and the event that they host every year prior to COVID, um, and I hope comes back, is the salmon bake. So they bake salmon in a culturally traditional way and they get to share that with the greater OSU community. And I think it's just a really neat way to honor how they live and uh, share that with everybody else. And then they're sprinkled throughout campus. And then the seven ones are the Asian Pacific Cultural Center, the Lonnie B. Harris Black Cultural Center, Central Cultural Cesar Chavez, the Etihad Cultural Center, Native American Longhouse, which we saw the Pride Center and the Women and Gender Center. So I know that that was a whole lot of information, a lot of stops, 15 minutes, questions that either Isabella or I can answer. Um, before we hand it back over to Jay and AJ. Zelda. Oh, 